Hi everyone, I'm here with Dom Matthews, product development for Ninja Theory, and we are here to talk about Hellblade. Now, what I love about this game is that it's not, you know, a typical fight the bad guys game because the bad guys are actually all inside her head. So tell us a little bit about how you guys came up with that and, and what the challenges were in designing demons that are all inside Senua's head. Well, the, the story is about Senua's journey into hell and Senua is a Celtic warrior. Uh, and the hell in question is a manif manifestation of her own mental illness. So the world around her uh, is one that the player sees through her eyes and to her it's, it's entirely a reality. There is no distinction between what's real and what's not. Um, so she is fighting against a Viking clan, uh, but seen through her eyes when she's experiencing psychosis. Okay, wow. That's, that's a huge undertaking to be able to visually explain that in, in a game. Um, what was the research process going into this, you know, dealing with such a subject as mental illness? I mean, you guys really want to treat it with respect. Um, so how, what was the research process? What did you look into beforehand? It's an ongoing process. Uh, mental health is, uh, is a subject that deserves a huge amount of respect and I think needs to be uh, treated very, very carefully. So uh, there's, uh, there's a number of things we're doing. We're working very closely with a professor of health neuroscience from Cambridge University uh, to make sure that we are uh, portraying Senua's uh, uh, mental illness uh, truthfully. Um, we are reaching out to uh, organizations that are involved in mental health, uh, groups of people that, are, that have mental health difficulties to get first-hand experience from them, um, and also working with Welcome Trust, which is a char charitable foundation that are interested in broadening the understanding of science. So we're working with a lot of, uh, a lot of people and organizations that um, really know what they're talking about when it comes to, to mental health. Um, and our goal is to really represent Senua's mental illness in a, in a truthful way. That's amazing. Uh, the game absolutely looks beautiful. And I know you guys did this with a fairly small team. How many were you guys working on this? Uh, so we've got a team of 15 people. 15? That's yeah. it? Yeah. So the studio... That's really small. Well, the, the idea with Hellblade is that uh, we can develop it uh, with all the spirit of indie development, with all of that creative freedom. Um, and with the restrictions that that brings, you know, we don't have a huge budget. We have a uh, the fraction of a budget that we would normally have. Um, but we've got a small team, 15 people. Uh, in most discipline areas, we've got one person. So we've got one environment artist, one designer, one character artist. Um, but what we found is that uh, through uh, being innovative and through uh, not falling into the uh, pitfalls of, of, of normal AAA development, uh, we can still achieve really high production values. I mean, that's the whole aim with this game, is that we can make something with a small team that still looks and feels as good as any AAA game. Did you guys ever think about doing any kind of crowdfunding or anything to help you guys get this done, or were you really trying to keep a hands-on, small control? Uh, I, th I think the uh, Hellblade and independent AAA, which is what we're kind of calling this model, um, is a risk. We don't know whether it's going to work. Like, it's, it's super ambitious for us. And, uh, we've made really good strides with it so far, and we, we think we're getting some success with it. So, um, uh, for us, it, it wouldn't have been fair to go to crowdfunding because uh, we want to give our fans uh, a game that they really love. And when there's that element of risk, we don't want to uh, take their donations and then, it, and then not be able to deliver. Wow, that's really, really generous of you guys to be like, no, we're going to take all this. Don't, don't you worry. We're going to take it all on ourselves. And I love it. It's, it's a really interesting concept to kind of toe the line between an indie uh, and a AAA title and still keeping everything really independent. Yeah, I mean, and no one else is, uh, is really doing it at the no. moment. You know, and this comes from the fact that uh, developers like us, that are kind of mid-tier developers, mid-sized developers, uh, we, we can't really compete in the big AAA market anymore because those games are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. They need to justify the, uh, the $60 price tag. So for us, you know, we think that, that, that Hellblade, by distributing it digitally, creating it with a small budget, uh, means that we can uh, we can create something that we only need to sell to a few hundred thousand people for it to be a success. And by doing that, we can create something that is really just for our fans. Awesome. All right. Well, any idea when those fans are going to be able to get their hands on this game? Ballpark time? Next year. Next year. Awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, Don, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Hellblade looks really beautiful, guys. Look for that coming next year.
レイステーション。